in dealing with debt today. The Debt-Free Diva is back. It's been a while. It's so good to have Tony Husbands with us. Tony, what are your tips for dealing with debt during the pandemic? So for people that are, are worried about uh, dealing with their debt in a pandemic, the first thing I definitely want to say is this: these tips are for those who are have a steady income source. If your income source is not steady, then we need to discuss, uh, that's a that's a topic for another show. But for people whose job situation or your, your income source is steady, then the first thing I want you to do is to really be concerned with and push on this, establishing a starter emergency fund. If the pandemic has taught us nothing, I think that we are all well aware of the, the value and the necessity of having an emergency fund in place. And now if you don't have anything in place, getting started with something is, is important. Something is much better than nothing. So $500, $1,000, I'm not talking about um, creating your full emergency fund at this point, but getting some money together in a bank account that you don't have ready access to, like an online bank account with no debit card is something that you wanna focus on to make that a priority. Is there a way to determine how much money should be in that emergency fund? Yeah, I definitely think that you should look at your personal situation. Are you a single person who's renting and you don't have any dependents? Start with an, start with an amount like $500. Do you have a home, a mortgage? Do you have children? Maybe a thousand or 1500 is something that you should strive for. And we're at the point now where people are starting to, um, we're going to be receiving stimulus checks. We're going to be, um, completing our taxes. If you get a tax uh, refund, use that money, put that aside, your market for your emergency fund so that you can knock that out the box right away. What are your tips to maximize income and to minimize expenses? So here's what I, I say in this, in this pandemic, again, a, there are a lot of people experiencing the pandemic in, in a variety of ways, but if you are, um, working from home we're not doing we're not doing as much entertainment actually now you know we're not we're not spending as much money on entertainment activities we're not traveling as much take that money the money that you would spend on those areas and make sure that you are um, budgeting you know make sure that you are are creating a, a regular budget so that you can maximize those dollars that used to um, be spent in other areas and you can target those two areas of paying off debt or initially starting your emergency fund. We are, you know, not shopping as much. You know, we're working from home. We're eating, um, we're, we're not eating out as much. Those are areas that you can really maximize your income, minimize your expenses, and use that money to, um, to be a, a bigger tool, uh, a bigger source of income to pay off debt faster, even during the pandemic. What are some ways to attack debt? Yes, um, there are a variety of sources. I love the debt snowball. It's simple. It, it doesn't um, use a lot. It's not complicated. You, you focus on your smallest debt first and pay that off first. And the reason that I love the debt sm snowball and it worked for me is the idea of quick wins. Because when you start seeing some of your debt slashed and you start um, knocking some of those things off the, the total list that you have, then you're more to stay with it. You, the, the quick wins give you motivation that's necessary. We paid off $107,000 and we did it using the debt snowball method. We, we listed our debt from smallest to largest and we focused all of our available cash um, that we had over expenses on paying off that smallest debt item first. Then we took that and, to, and used it on the next and so on and so forth until all of your debt is, is is um, eliminated. So whichever plan you take, I love the debt snowball, but whichever plan you take, initiate it, start it and stick with it so that you can maximize this time we're in right now to even in the pandemic, um, deal with paying off your debt. Beautiful. And the next time you're here, we will address how to handle money if you are down to your last penny. Tony has been there. So we look forward to having you back soon. Thanks for having me. More Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.